Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So I got another deck profile update for you guys today. This time it's on my Salamangre deck, and this is post July 2019 ban list. So I saw the ban list. I'll be honest, I wasn't too happy when Salad got hit like very hard with Gazelle and Circle going to one. I think Konami could have just hit one or the other. They didn't actually have to hit both of them. So, and it kind of dropped quite a lot of consistency with the Salamangre deck. Now that being said, the deck is not dead, and the deck is not like like uh, weak or anything it's still a really strong deck it's just not as consistent as it was before and it's not going to be like the most powerful deck in the format anymore either but i still think this is going to be one of the best decks to play maybe like maybe the fourth strongest deck maybe fifth who knows but um you just had to readapt the deck in a way to where like you had to run more extenders now to get mirage dahlia out as quickly as you can and or if you want to go for more of a stun route you could do that too and you know, just basically the whole goal of the deck now is turbo Mirage to LU and just win as quickly as you can. Like, don't don't stall or anything. Just try to, like, uh, OTK your opponent as fast as possible because, like, that's really what this deck's going to have to do now rather than just go back to its original control-based strategy. Because I had a strategy that I wanted to go with if Circle was left alone, but they hit both cards. So now I'm going to have to... I had to change up my strategy and go and so on. So let me go and show you what I got this time around and hopefully you guys will enjoy this. Okay, so starting off with the main deck, I'm playing three spinny. Um, before I kind of went back, I went with two before and back to three. It's like I always kind of went back and forth with this card. Even now, you could probably still play this deck at, or play this card at two, but I just want to play three on the, just to be on the safe side of things. Three Foxy, this is going to be your main starter now. Uh, you normal summon this just to dig through your deck, try to get that Gazelle as quickly as you can or any other Salamangre card if possible. Still playing the one Gazelle since this was the heart and soul of the deck, and it still is, honestly. This card gets you everything, and it's one of your main combo pieces. But now you're going to have to try to search it out as quickly as you can, especially with Sign and Mining, which that's one of the things I didn't like because, like, now you're forcing people to get Sign and Mining to play this deck correctly. So that's what I'm saying. Like, they didn't have to hit both cards. They could have just hit the Gazelle, and that was it. Uh, for the remaining one of for the Salamangri cards, I'm playing one Foul, of course, which frees the spells and traps. Uh, one Jack Jack War. I've seen some people play this at two. You can. Um, just because, you know, we still have cards like Called by the Grave around. But with what I have, I, I can still play just one, honestly. And then one Falco, of course, which lets you reset any of your spells and traps. Or you can bounce back one of your salad cards to your hand to some of this card. So, uh, pretty good card overall. Alright, so for my side Cyber's Engine, I'm playing... Three copies of Flame Buffalo. Uh, I've seen one build that played it at one, which you can do also. Like, I'm trying to, like, I'm experimenting still with this card. Uh, I think Flame Buffalo definitely at three is good in case if you didn't open up with a Foxy. This is a close enough second. And plus, uh, the fact that you're racking up with even more Cybers monsters, you have easy discard fodder with Flame Buffalo. So, definitely a great card to try out. I'm playing two copies of Backup Secretary. This is one of my key extenders now. As long as you control a Cybers monster, you can special summon this card at any given time. So, and the fact that it's a level 3 and Mirage Dialy just requires two level 3 monsters to summon it. Uh, Backup Secretary, definitely one of the better extender pieces. Or you can go Psychic Wielder or, um, what's the other one? Crusadia Reclusia, definitely great options. Or Psychic Tracker too. And then lastly, one Lady Debug, which is still necessary. Even though it's at 1, it's not as great as it was before. It's still a much needed piece. That way, you know, it lets you search out your Gazelle so... That's the thing, is like now you're gonna have to like try to search out that gazelle at all times. But like I said, like depending on how it plays pans out, you know, you could probably still win with this deck. Um and just try to figure out like what you want to do with it. For hand traps, I'm only playing nine, uh three ash, three ghost ogre, which is probably one of the best hand traps again, because of uh, multi rogue hitting the one and ghost ogre is just really good against pendulums too, because you want to hit their scales, that way they don't set off. And then three effect failure, of course, which is just the cheaper option for uh, infinite and permanents. All right, so now we're moving on to spells. Playing three sign and mining. I actually pulled two of these in just one box of Dark Neo Star Special Edition. And the first one I got, I had it for a while when I bought a, a box of Dark Neo Star just by itself. So it was like one of my two secrets. So I was pretty happy with that. One Salamangrid Circle. Still need to be able to search. So figured why not one sanctuary one will is salamangri and foolish barrel and i gotta thank battles of legend because you know 
Now I got hollow upgrades on these cards, so I'm really happy with that. Three called by the grave, you know, definitely need to be able to protect yourself from hand traps, so called by the grave is definitely a must. Three solemn judgment now because it's at three, which honestly I think is a mistake, but whatever. I mean, I was gonna go back to playing the solemn brigade regardless anyway, so I'm pretty happy that judgment is back at three. But again, now that some decks can play it at three, you just gotta watch out for it. And of course, one roar and then one rage. Um, so yeah, and these cards are pretty easy to dig out, so figured why not. All right, so that's it for the main deck. That's 40 cards. Now we're moving on to the extra deck. All right, so for the extra deck, you're gonna be playing three copies of Baylinx. You know, gets your gets you access to your field spell. And honestly, this deck never needed terraforming, so that's why I'm like I wasn't worried with terraforming getting to one. Three Sunlight Wolf, which recurs all your fire monsters as well as your spell and trap cards. Two Heat Leo, which bounces back spell and trap cards, and also uh, just basically can weaken your opponent mon your opponent's monsters fairly effectively to go for that OTK damage. Got Nightmare Phoenix, Hita, my deck's headliner, Magnet Crusade Avermax, as well as Boral Sword Dragon. I'm playing two Mirage Stallion, because like I said, you definitely need to get this out a lot more often now. Uh, and then lastly, one of Bish Dweller. I wouldn't recommend playing the Violet Chimera anymore, because like at this point it doesn't do anything, especially even though Super Poly's at three, it's just like, like what's the big deal? Like Not many people are going to be playing this deck that much anyway, so... That's why I feel like running Violet Chimera is not really important anymore, so... I mean, like I said, I'm not sure if that's even the correct way to do them things, but many people are going with that route, so I figured I should just follow suit. Uh, for my side deck, I'm playing three Panker Tops, you know, to deal with Floodgates, because, you know, the one Floodgate that shuts me down, or actually two of them, are uh, Macro Cosmo, and there can only be one. Technically, uh, Mystic Mind too, but I already have a way to get out, get out of that too, so I'm not too worried. Um... Three Landskin, you know, to deal with Danger Thunder. Three Cosmic Cyclone, you know, to banish Bagro, because I think Banishment still works better than just popping alone, because some decks can recycle their spell and traps, so it's better just to banish them. A new tech choice I'm going with is Enemy Controller. This card is actually really good against the Mirror Match, or I even sometimes use this against other decks, like, uh, I know, I've actually seen some Adolce decks coming out, and I actually almost lost to it during a Locals tournament, so... An enemy controller just seems to work really well. Um, it's just, it's basically a quick play version of, uh, well, I mean, technically, Crackdown is quick play, but this one's just Crackdown for a turn where you can actually, and it's not once per turn either, so, like, you tribute to take control of one of your opponent's monsters. So if you happen to have a gazelle in hand, you can trigger a gazelle, activate another one, tribute that monster you just took control of to take control of another one, and then it's just, it's just a funny card to play. And then lastly, three evenly matched. And that's pretty much it, honestly. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this. Let me know in the comments of what y'all think. Um, I'm always open to tips too. So yeah. And I'll catch you guys next time.